So for small cell lung cancer, immunotherapy has been shown to be improve outcomes in patients, both with extensive stage disease and with limited stage disease. The drugs we use are medicines that are called immune checkpoint inhibitors. And these are medicines that unmask the uh, tumor to your immune system. So in other words, the tumors can grow and escape the immune system by creating this mask. And by using these medicines, these immune checkpoint inhibitors, we can allow the immune system then to see the tumor and, and attack it. In small cell lung cancer, these have been almost exclusively used in combination with chemotherapy in uh, patients with metastatic disease or disease that has gone to other parts of the body outside of the lung. But it has been shown to be better than doing chemotherapy alone. But we do need to use the chemotherapy in combination. Just this past year, an immunotherapy called Dervalumab, another immune checkpoint inhibitor, has been approved for small cell lung cancer after finishing chemo radiation for earlier stage small cell lung cancer. So that's been a major advance in the treatment in improving cure rates in patients with small cell lung cancer. In addition, we now have a new immunotherapy that has just recently been FDA approved for treatment of small cell lung cancer in metastatic disease that has progressed even in spite of chemotherapy and immunotherapy, and that's a medicine called tarlatumab. And this immunotherapy is has a slightly different mechanism. It's an antibody that on the one hand will bind to a protein that's present on the cancer cells, and on the other side will bind to your T cells, immune cells, and bring those two things together so it allows the immune cells to attack the cancer. And this has been very effective. These medicines have a particular side effect profile that is completely different from immune checkpoint inhibitors. And it does require some care in terms of being able to administer these uh, treatments safely. And so generally speaking, we do have people in the hospital for these uh, medicines to monitor, make sure they don't have life-threatening side effects. And if they do have these life-threatening side effects that we're able to treat them effectively before we let you go home.